Hello everybody, here I am. I just got back from the beach. I live in South Florida and I love to go to the beach metal detecting. And as I go to the beach metal detecting, I always want to find what the best metal detector to use is. I've done a lot of research with this. I sometimes go off the beach metal detecting as well, but uh, for me, my passion is to see the sunrise every morning and be on the beach, but I'm too bored to just sit there and look at the sun. And I wanted to find a hobby I could do to get my exercise and also look at the sunrise. So I get to the beach during sunrise as much as I can and I took up metal detecting. And I'm into health and I want it to be as healthy as possible. So getting out every day will do the trick. So I, I was looking at the different type of metal detectors out there for the beach. And there's a lot of different ones out there. I haven't tested them all, but these two I'm gonna show you today and compare today uh, are two of the best ones I found and they're in a different price range. So if you are looking for a metal detector for the beach, one of these two are the ones I recommend. Now the first one I'm going to show here is this is a White's Beach Hunter ID. Now I bought this used online. It has the old coil. Uh, now they have a, a, a it's a, called a White's 300 ID. This is the White's the Beach Hunter ID. So the, the Beach Hunter 300 ID actually has a bigger coil, uh, but this is the one I bought used online and I've been using it. And I've used many detectors off the beach and even on the beach uh, that don't go in the water and they have a whole display and everything else. Now, if you want to know a whole story and take years to learn all that, then you go ahead and get one of those. But I love this metal detector because it just simply has three lights, red, yellow, and green and it tells me what to dig and what not to dig and what I'm digging. Very easy to use, absolutely love it. Now I haven't used it as much in the water yet, but I hear in the water even with this coil or with the 300 coil, it does tend to float. They do sell a weight for this, so keep it down, but it's a very light machine, at least with this, uh, with the old coil. And it, they have a straight shaft for this if you like it, but this I absolutely love and I found so much. I even found a needle with this the other day. A needle on the beach and uh, so this is one I've been taking it's a white beach hunter ID you can get them new for about nine hundred dollars eight hundred ninety nine dollars and the next one is I, I'm always looking for better so I want deeper I want better and I found it after doing a lot of research I found this Excalibur uh, Excalibur 2 and my friend Frank at www.palmbeachmetaldetectors uh, sells these and if you are looking for a metal detector you want to contact him they have a whole bunch I also got an AT Pro from him at one point but this is an Excalibur 2 uh, this without a doubt is the strongest metal detector you can get for the beach but you, you pay for what you get it's almost double the price it usually retails for about 1500 and it, it's going to pay for itself because I as I was on the beach with all my metal detectives I would see people with these and talk to them and people are finding a lot of stuff in the water and out of the water with this one. It's definitely much deeper uh, than any other metal detector I've ever used and I've used uh, a good amount but you know as new as I am to metal detecting uh, I know right away this one is really one people should consider getting. And, and Frank has them if you want to get them. You can see the reviews online. There's nothing but good things that people have to say about this. When you buy it, it either comes with a 10 inch or an eight inch coil, and that's that. Now, uh, so this is the one, if you're looking for the top of the line beach metal detector, the Excalibur 2 by MindLab, that's what I would recommend. Now, my personal uh, choice is the Beach Hunter uh, ID, and I find it to be a little lighter. The only thing I don't like about the Excalibur 2 is it's heavy. But there's something even more important I didn't like about it. Now, I can't say, I'm not recommending don't get it because if you're looking to find the most stuff, this is the one you want. And if you don't mind the weight, now you can get a straight shaft and it will be lighter. Uh, but what I have found is I got this, I was looking for the EMF to see how strong the electrical magnetic field is because as a health person, I don't want to be getting zapped with these EMFs because they're not healthy. I want them going in the ground, not into me. Well, uh, I, I bought this EMF tri-field meter, which I have on my website at rawlife.com. I looked and looked online uh, as I was getting into this hobby, uh, wondering if I am getting high EMFs when I'm doing these metal detecting and metal detecting in general. And I was looking and I found that different metal detectors will give off a different amount of EMFs. And on this, on this uh, tri-meter here, it has a safe zone and an unsafe zone or a low zone and a high zone uh, and anything on the three is considered safe according to standards in Europe and I would say the United States 
anything about seven, eight, or nine would still be safe, not according to them, uh, and anything over that would not be considered safe for long-term use. Well, what I did was, when I turn on the Beach Hunter ID and I'm swinging it, when it's out here, it's pretty low, but when it comes right in front of me, it goes up to about a seven or an eight. And I did this with other metal detectors, which I'll show in other videos, but so the tri-field meter comes to about a seven or eight. That means long-term exposure uh, it's not in the safe zone, but it's still okay because it's not a high number. It's only a seven or an eight. Uh, and, and this is a powerful machine and all the EMF is going into the ground. I've seen a uh, seven or eight with most of the metal detectors I've seen. Now, this Excalibur 2 is so powerful, this machine. And the benefit is it goes deeper. Everyone says it goes deeper. And now I have the proof that it goes deeper. Number one, that I haven't seen anybody else that talks about metal detectors showing this, but I also show that it's not the healthiest thing if you're concerned about EMFs. So it, it's very powerful. When I turn the meter on and I'm swinging out here, it's about a seven or an eight. When I come in front of me, this thing's jumping to like 35 or 50. And sometimes it's going all the way up to 100. That is a lot of EMFs. And if you don't know about EMFs and exposure to EMFs, uh, you can look at my other videos. It's not a healthy thing for long-term exposure. I see a lot of guys using uh, this uh, metal detector. Uh, I'm concerned about the high EMFs they're getting. However, a lot of people aren't concerned and in their house is much worse than what they're doing the metal detector for a couple of hours a day. I'm not discouraging anyone buying uh, the Excalibur. I'm saying if you want it, just be aware that the EMF is, is quite high and you might want to consider getting some kind of protector uh, either for the box or seeing if they have a, a coil or some kind of cloth you can put around the coil uh, just so it, you're not getting that high exposure. If you're looking for the deepest stuff on the beach, especially in the water, and by the way, this coil doesn't float in the water. I tested it out just a little while ago and it, it why it's heavier, it doesn't float. So it, 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 this proves that the Excalibur 2 is the strongest metal detector you can get. And again, my friend Frank Nash at www Palm Beach Metal Detectors, uh, he sells them. And his cell phone, if you want that, is 786-269-5744. So if you want to call him, you can ask him more about purchasing this. He can give you the best price for this. Uh, and again, I'm not discouraging you. I'm just warning you or just making you aware that the EMFs are quite high on this. Uh, and if you're not using it extensively, you'd be okay. But if you're planning on going out every single day for five, six, seven, eight hours a day, I, I would definitely do something about the EMFs. But, so that's the Excalibur 2. And then uh, my choice, boy, it's so light and I'm, I'm really enjoying this, is the, the White's Beach Hunter ID. Again, I have the old one, the new one has the, the higher coil, so I don't know if it's as light uh, but as this one, but I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. Now again, on the Excalibur 2, you can get a straight shaft as well as this one. And if you get the straight shaft, it's not as, as heavy, either one of them, so you can swing longer. All right, so uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them below the video, and until then, keep swinging.